Hello everyone! If you're studying data science and looking for building a portfolio to find your first job, you are at the right place, because I have here great tips for you. If you're ready, give a thumbs up and let's start. What I would like to suggest is to use the GitHub to show your projects. It is a great tool because it is free and almost everyone uses it. I won't stress this point too much, but give it a try and explore it to save your projects. So what you need to have in mind when building your portfolio? There are three big things here. These are generic tips before talking about the project. The first one are the tasks that you will be performing in your projects, such as data cleaning, exploratory analysis, data visualization, or machine learning and neural networks projects. Some of them are very common in all projects, but you need to stress out in your projects things such like data cleaning and exploratory analysis because it is a huge part of a data scientist's job. The second topic that I have here are subjects, and it is related with the business problems that you are working on. There are many jobs within these areas, and you need to choose the problems that you enjoy to work the most. It is useful to have projects in your portfolio related with the jobs that you are applying for, because in some interviews or in a lot of interviews you will have some generic problems that are related to that subject and it is great to have already a good understanding of that problem so you can talk about it in the interview. And the third point that I have here, there are several types of data and you should work with all these types of data. So I don't have all of them here, but these are the, the most essential ones. Now let's talk about the several types of projects that you must have in your portfolio. So if you are starting to build a new portfolio or your first portfolio, you may want to start with these kind of projects. The first one is clustering. It is a common machine learning project where you don't have labels and here you will need to interpret your data and the business problem you are trying to solve and apply the methods that fit to the problem and then present your insights. And not only you should have the code for this, but you should explain what you are trying to do and why you are trying to do it. So the second project type is a regression problem with numerical data. Here we also have labels, you may already know this, and the steps may be identical to the previous project because in every project you need to interpret the business problem and try to define the goals of your project. Then you apply methods to make the predictions with your data and then explain how to evaluate, how do you evaluate the model performance and how can you improve the model. So, and all of these steps are essential to have a great regression problem in your portfolio. The third one is a classification project, which you may already know that is a machine learning project with labels. And this kind of project usually has categorical data, so you try to fit each data entry into one category, and it, you need to interpret always the business problem, and write down what you're working on and what is your goal and apply the methods to, to make your predictions or also the classifications or your data points and explain how can you evaluate the model performance and in this kind of classification problems. A lot of times you have imbalanced data which is a good point to explain and show knowledge in your portfolio. And in all of these projects, it's very important to clean data, to transform data and to show some visualizations and interpret those visualizations. So there are kind of tasks that usually are transversal to the projects and you need to stress each one of them in each project. And you may want to do all these three kind of projects or type of machine learning projects to more data sets. So don't do only one project for each type, do several projects for each type of these ones. And I have a bonus for you. So I have here another type of project 
that you may want to do it and this project is a recommendation system so in this type of machine learning we want to recommend some kind of product and this kind of project you may want to interpret your business problem and here I have an extra point because it is good to understand what is explicit versus implicit recommendations if you do this project it is good to understand this and explain this in your portfolio then you need to explain what algorithm will be used and finally of course building your recommendation system and show how your recommendation system works and that's all in this video everyone so in the future i will be putting more tips and tricks for your portfolio i'll be talking about more project types but keep in mind these projects because they are the baseline and the foundation to start building your portfolio as well as the first slide there is very great tips because you need to stress out some of those points in order to demonstrate and show your knowledge so thanks for watching don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe see you soon